an affair of perfecting one's tawakkul in this bab here, in this step, in this daraja, in this component. And that is that which Ibn Qayyim mentions, rahimahullah ta'ala. So you can put a title, subtitle, min tamami tawakkul. Min tamami a tawakkul. Yani from the perfection of trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala in this affair. Qala Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, walakin min tamami tawakkul adam ar-rukuni ila al-asbabi wa qat'a alaqat al-qalbi biha فيكون حاله قل حال قلبه قيامه بالله لا بها الله أكبر وحال بدني قيامه بها. This Imam, illustrious Imam رحمه الله تعالى, he mentions an important point from the perfection of a tawakkul. And I'll summarize it. He says that from the perfection of a tawakkul is not to rely on the means. الركون to rely on the means. To rest your laurels, everything on the means. But rather, the, from the perfection of a tawakkul is to remove the means from the heart. What does that mean? And that is a tawakkul, trusting in Allah. What did Imam Ahmed say was the definition of a tawakkul? What did he say when he mentioned a tawakkul? What did he say from yesterday's lesson? Who can tell me? Yeah. That is Amul Qalb. Jazakum la khair. That he said that tawakkul is the action of the heart. So therefore that tawakkul has consumed the heart. The, there's no room for the means. Rather the means are in the limbs. The means are through the limbs. The trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the heart. Now how can we implement this in our lives? That is as an example, you apply for a job. You write your CV, or if you're American, resume, from the French. Your qualifications, in order. Making sure that you represent yourself properly. This is taking the what, Ikhwan? Al-Asbab, the means. And then you trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you pray salat, uh, salat al-istikhara and so forth. You pray istikhara and then you trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's the acid test on where your tawakkul is? What is the state of the heart as it relates to this example? If the person did not get the job and their iman goes down, they become depressed. What's happened? The means has entered his what? His heart. The means has entered his heart. But rather the person, as many have mentioned, with the dunya, he plays with the dunya in his hands. And doesn't allow it to enter his heart. He's established the ibadah of a tawakkul, the amazing worship of trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the virtues we mentioned yesterday, from them is increases the iman of the believer. So if, for example, he doesn't get that job, he doesn't become depressed. He doesn't feel that everything has collapsed. He starts taking it out on his family. He becomes moody. This is a sign that your heart has been attached to what? The asbab. And from the tamam of a tawakkul, the perfection of a tawakkul is making... That to what could be part of the heart and your limbs is where the means come into it. Wallahu subhanahu wa ta'ala a'lam. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymi rahimullah ta'ala he says in Majmu Fatawa فَالْإِتِفَاتُ إِلَى الْأَسْبَابِ شِرْكٌ فِي التوحيد. So if you and your heart, one's heart clings onto the asbab, the means this is a form of shirk, not taking one out of uh, the fold of Islam, minor shirk. And it weakens the person's tawheed. It makes the person's tawheed weaker. فَعَلَى الْعَبْدِ أَنْ يَكُونْ قَلْبُهُ مُعْتَمِدًا عَلَى اللَّهِ لَا عَلَى السَّبَبْ Ibn Taymiyyah rahimullah ta'ala says, so it's upon the servant, the slave, that his heart 
relies and, the, and uh, rests with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Depending on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا على الأسباب أو سبب من الأسباب. Not on the means. والله ييسر له من الأسباب ما يصلحه في الدنيا والآخرة. And Allah will give him that which is good from him, for him from the means. The means that are executed and successful as it relates to its outcome. Allah will decide from his wisdom, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that which is better for him. Again, this is what we studied yesterday. That a person indeed trusts in Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in that affair. So therefore, we've reached the second step, as you can see in the stairs that I told you to draw. Now we're on the third. And that is Rusuq al-Qalbi fi maqami tawheed al-tawakkul. And this comes after that which you've mentioned regarding the, the, uh, the, the means. And that is Rusuq al-Qalb. That the heart is firmly established as it relates to a tawheed in tawakkul. Firmness of the heart as it relates to the tawheed of a tawakkul. فَإِنَّهُ لَا يَسْتَقِيمُ He says Ibn Qayyim rahimullahu ta'ala فَإِنَّهُ لَا يَسْتَقِيمُ تَوَكُّلُ الْعَبْدِ حَتَّى يَصِحَّ لَهُ تَوْحِيدُهُ Generally, one's tawakkul would never be established and firm until his tawheed is established and firm. بَلْ حَقِيقَةُ التَّوَكُّلْ تَوْحِيدُ الْقَلْبِ The reality and the essence of a tawakkul, of a tawakkul is a tawheed in the heart. Meaning that, مَا دَامَتْ فِيهِ عَلَائِقُ الشِّرْكِ فَتَوَكُّلُهُ مَعْلُولٌ مَدْخُولٌ And he is free from other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no alaiq, anything else is detached from the heart of the individual and that which is in his heart is the trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which, which is why this tawakkul is indeed an amazing ibadah of the qalb. Ibadah al-qalbiyya. Al-amaliyya, na'am. And he says, فَمَا دَامَتْ فِيهِ عَلَائِقُ الشِّرْكِ as long as there is that partners in association in the heart, meaning that part of his heart trusts in Allah and the other uh, rests on the means, his tawakkul will be ma'lul, frail, madkhul, weak and diseased. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that. And then he continues and he says a beautiful statement, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, wa ala qadri tajreed tawheed تَكُونُ صِحَّةُ التَّوَكُّلْ So, the purity of his tawheed, its authenticity is important. Why? Because that which it depends on it is the authenticity of his tawakkul. So, the authenticity of his tawakkul is established when his tawheed is pure. Free from discrepancies. And then he explained this and he says, فَإِنَّ الْعَبْدَ مَا تَلْتَفَتْ إِلَى غَيْرِ اللَّهِ أَخَذَ ذَلِكَ الْإِلْتِفَاتُ شُعْبَةُ مِنْ شُعْبِ قَلْبِهِ وَيَذْمُ بِاللَّهِ He says, when the slave, whenever it turns to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that turning to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, takes a portion from the portion of his heart. فَنَقَصَ مِنْ تَوَكُّلِهِ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِقَدَرِ ذَهَابِ تِلْكَ الْشُعْبَةِ So the deficiency in his tawakkul, in trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, depends on how much of it has gone to that other thing that he turned to. So it has to be purely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which is why we recite in Surah Fatiha, in every rakah, Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in. To you alone we worship wa Iyaka nasta'in. To you alone we seek aid and help. And this isti'ana is the meaning of a tawakkul. As mentioned by Ibn Qayyim rahimullah ta'ala. Yani we seek aid from you alone. And we trust in you, rely on you alone, depend on you alone, without any partners. And this is that daraja, a thalith, the third, and that is that it must be tawheed khalis in the heart. Pure tawheed in the heart regarding trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we move on to the fourth step. 
And that he says, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, اعتماد القلب على الله واستناده إليه وسكونه إليه Meaning the heart's reliance upon Allah and its dependence upon Him with the heart at ease and tranquil in doing so. Sukunahu ilayhi. Sukun from second where you live and you rest in your house. Your second is where you stay and you have peace and tranquility and security. So the heart depends on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and relies upon Him. And He has this sukuna, this tumanina, this tranquility and ease in doing so. He explained this Ibn Qayyim rahimullah ta'ala for Yaqul. He says, بِحَيْثُ لَا يَبْقَى فِيهِ اِقْتِرَابٌ مِنْ تَشْوِيشِ الْأَسْبَابِ So therefore, his heart remains the same. It's not disturbed. It's not shaken by the confusing state of the means. What does that mean? It means that sometimes the means you'll be successful in achieving and sometimes they won't. But the heart is in a state of sakina, is in a state of tranquility and ease. So potent is his tranquility in his heart that he's not shaken by the asbab. He's not shaken by the asbab. And he says, Rahimullah Ta'ala, Wala yattaribu kalbuhu wa yafkuhu inda idbari ma yuhibbu minha wa iqbali ma yakrah. His heart is not disturbed. His heart, la yafku, does not tremble. Inda idbari ma yuhibbu minha. When that which he yearns for from the asbab is running away from him. Or that which he dislikes is coming to him from trials and afflictions. His heart is not perturbed, it's not disturbed, it doesn't tremble, it doesn't shake, it remains firm. Because he had this itimad, Allah. The heart has this reliance on Allah. And he has what does he have? It has what? Ah, sakina, tranquility. So it's not disturbed at all. وَمَا تَوْفِيقِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ the Anbiya that went through tests and trials. And what was their response? And my guidance cannot come except from Allah. Alayhi tawakkaltu. Him alone. Alayhi taqdeem. Hadi shibh jumla. Alayhi tawakkaltu. Upon him alone. I put my trust and unto him I repent and turn. And then Ibn Qayyim, he mentions in this section, my dear beloved brothers and sisters, three similitudes that we're going to deal with bi ta'ala. The first he says, hala man azim. La taqata lahu bihi. The state of this mutawakkil that's established this fourth level and step and component his state is like the one where the enemy, a mighty or a mighty enemy comes to him. Enemy that he has no power over. Fara'a Hisnan. He sees a fortress, strong fortress, stronghold, cannot be breached. For who are you for Maftuhan and it's open for Adkhalahu Rabbuhu Ilehi. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters him into this fortress. وَأَغْلَقَ عَلَيْهِ بَابُ الْحِسْنِ And he shuts the door on that fortress. So none can what? Enter. فَهُوَ يُشَاهِدُ عَدُوَّهُ So he's in this fortress that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entered him. The enemies can't get in. And the fortress is like the heart. Okay? So then he... Yushahid al adu he sees the enemy. Kharij al-Hisn, you can see the enemy. 
and the enemy can't get in. فَالْتِرَابُ قَلْبِهِ وَخَوْفُهُ مِنْ عَدُوِهِ فِي هَذِي الْحَالِ لَا مَعْنَ لَهُ You're in a secure place. Fortress, stronghold, cannot be breached. You see the enemy. You're just there looking. Them coming to you causes no tashwish. You don't have any fear. Because you know they can't get in. Because you're safe and you have that tranquility and that ease. This is the state of the mutawakkil. He has that in his heart this tawakkil ala Allah which is that stronghold. That which is strong, it cannot be breached. And his serenity is maintained. And then he mentions the second example. كَذَلِكَ مَنْ أَعْطَاهُ مَلِكٌ دِرْهَمًا In which a king gives him some type of currency, dirham, pound if you like. فَسَرَقَ مِنْهُ And it's been stolen. فَقَالَ لَهُ الْمَلِكُ And the king says to him, عندي أضعافه I have many more for you. يعني don't worry. فَلَا تَهْتَمْ That one is stolen, I have many more for you. مَتَ جِئْتُ أَوْ جِئْتَ إِلَيَا أَطَيْتُكَ مِنْ خَزَائِنِ When you come to me, I'll give you what you need from my treasures. أَضْعَافُهُ In abundance. فَإِذَا عَلِمَ سِحَةَ قَوْلِ الْمَلِكِ So if the person whose wealth, that money that has been stolen, the king has said, don't worry, I have many for you. Whenever you come to me, I'll give it to you. Don't, don't worry about it. And he believes what the king is saying. What happens? Does he have doubts? Wathaqabihi. Or wathaqabihi. He trusts him. Wathma'anna ilayhi. And he has what? Huh, tell me. He has tranquility, no worries. It's coming. He has many treasures in abundance. Because he has that tranquility and serenity, it going away doesn't what? Sadden him or bother him. This is like the mutawakkil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favors are in what, ikhwan? Abundance. Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in am humu al-khaliqun. Am khaliqu al-samawati wal-ard, bal la yuqinun. Am indahum khaza'inu rabbika, am humu al-musaytirun. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, are they created not from something or are they themselves are the creators? Did they create the heavens and earth? Of course they didn't. بَلَّا يُقِنُونَ They have no certainty, no yaqeen. أَمْ عِنْدَهُمْ خَزَائِنُ رَبِّكَ Do they have the treasures of your Lord? Of the revelation. As the ulama of tafsir have explained. Of rain. Of provision. Do they have that? No, they don't. Istifham in kari. A question with the meaning of negation. أَمْ هُمُ الْمُسَيْتِرُونَ or are they tyrants who assume the authority to do as they like? No, they don't have the authority to do as they like. Allah has a khazain. Allah has a treasure. So why are you sad when you lose? Wealth? Why are you sad when you didn't get that job? Why do you cry? When you haven't achieved those means that you have taken. Bala yuqinun. They don't have that certainty. The mutawakkil has that certainty. That with Allah indeed is treasures. Unlimited. So the person has that sakina and that serenity. And trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He brings a third example. Ibn Qayyim. وَقَدْ مُثِّلَ ذَلِكَ بِحَالِ الطِّفْلِ الرَّضِيعِ 
في اعتماده وسكونه وطمأنينته بثدي أمه لا يعرف غيره He brings a similitude like some have said like the state of a child suckling child in his reliance and serenity with his mother when he's breastfed being breastfed those who have children they know the baby closes his eyes Sahiola, yes or no? It has serenity. No fear. Because of the trust in who? The mother. وَلَيْسَ فِي قَلْبِهِ إِلْتِفَاتٌ إِلَى غَيْرِهِ He doesn't get distracted when the baby is being breastfed. He doesn't turn his heart into to, to something else. This is a state of the mutawakkil. That had, has the itimad and the reliance on Allah was sukuna ilayhi and has that serenity and tranquility in that the heart doesn't go anywhere else. It remains in that state of a tawakkul and having that thiqa, trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ya'rafu shay'in ya'wihi ilayhi illa thadi ummi. The baby doesn't know anything else except for what? The breastfeeding that he's receiving. So therefore, likewise, walillahi methal al-a'la, the mutawakkil doesn't know anyone to go back to except who? Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, because that's where the sakina is. That thiqa, that tawakkul, that trusting in Allah, itimadi Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. We have to be and reach this stage, ya ibad Allah. Ask yourself what happened when what you strive for did not come about. And in that we can test the state of our hearts. When there is a trial of fitna, which is always going to happen. As is mentioned in the hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. لا يأتي زمان إلا والذي بعده شر منه يعني وفي رواية سمعته من نبيكم So it's marfu' There doesn't come a time except the one after it is worse than the one before. It's going to happen. So when the trials come and the test comes, what do we have to do, Ikhwan? Tell me. Fundamentally, we do what? Hmm? A tawakkul ala Allah. Naam. We trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we take the means by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for thabat. And we seek knowledge and ilm and study the seerah of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the seerah of the Anbiya, the lives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and what they went through in their tests and trials. We just don't sit in our home shivering. We take the means. And we trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the fitna does not go away and it remains, do we lose our sakina? Do we lose that serenity? No, we're not supposed to. Because our heart is reliant and depends on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That tawakkul shouldn't be going anywhere. If it's firm and it's in that state, in this fourth stage. After that, the fifth. Daraja al 